This local sports report is presented by Kelly Pataki, your hometown realtor and a proud supporter of the Cambridge Redhawks. Kelly is a sales representative with the Remax Real Estate Center who brings trusted advice and experience to your next home purchase or sale. Contact Kelly for all your real estate needs at 519-716-7998. He is an 18-year-old forward returning to the Cambridge Red Hawks for the upcoming season, recently returning from the Quebec Rempart camp in the QMJHL. This is Matthew Fries. Let's start there, Matt. Let's talk a little bit about your experience at camp and what you can bring back here to Cambridge from having that experience at that Junior A level in the Q. Yeah, I mean, it was an amazing time up in uh, Quebec City there with the Remparts, uh, being coached by Patrick Waugh, uh, Simone Gagné, um, and just those older guys yep. that uh, a couple of them played in the NHL or yep. have been drafted by the NH in the NHL um, and yeah just an awesome experience overall and I'm just hoping to bring that leadership role back here and uh, the experience from learning from those older more competitive guys up in uh, Quebec. Not a lot of people can say that they were able to get insight from Patrick Waugh who was an amazing goalie with the Montreal Canadiens and Colorado Avalanche Simone Gagne with the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, for you, your game really is your speed and your knack for the net. You know, you, you got a nose for the net, you go and you find those loose pucks and obviously you can score on the rush as well. Um, that's really one of your assets from my point of view. But for you, how do you view this season in terms of another year of development for you? And I think you're better off as well for having gone to that Quebec camp. Yeah, I mean, going to that Quebec camp, it, uh, they really wanted to look at my defensive game. Okay. Uh, because they were looking for centermen yep. so bringing that defensive game here but also trying to create that offensive rush uh, for my teammates and being able to have the confidence uh, to drive the net and push the play um, knowing that I can do that and I did that yep. at that next level with the Quebec Ramparts. Yeah, and that's the thing, being a 200-foot player, no matter what level it is, whether it be the QMJHL or whether it be here, obviously that's a key asset for you. Let's look back at last year for a second. You go into your first year of junior hockey, and you're hoisting a cherry cup. Yep. You know, what was that experience like, and what was so special about that group, Matt? It was awesome. I mean, just our chemistry. We all bonded. Uh, you know, going from a not-so-great team in minor midget, not, lose, not winning a lot of games, to go into a team with Wally as a great coach, yep. uh, the whole coaching staff. But no, we just had a great group of guys. We all believed in each other since day one. Um, and yeah, it was just awesome to lift that cherry cup in your first year as a junior. A lot of those guys didn't do it until their overage year. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so it was just amazing and I couldn't be more proud of our guys. How do you do it again? That's the goal. And there's another big goal this year too, Sutherland Cup. You gotta win the first one before you get the second one. How do you do it, Matt, in your mind with this group? I think we just gotta, uh, have a chip on our shoulder from that Sutherland Cup playoff run last year. Uh, didn't go our way, and uh, we're just hoping to build off of that momentum that we had in those playoffs and just carry it forward. Good to have you back in Cambridge. Welcome back, Matthew Freeze. Good to see you, and look forward to covering you once again this season. Thank you, Darren.